Oh, his bottle was four hundred and five dollars. Okay. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so you guys, I wanted to show y'all what we ended up getting from Saks the other day. So, this was my first time actually purchasing. Well, I didn't purchase anything. I think this is my first time getting anything from Saks. So, I wanted to show y'all what we got. So, we went up there to get all these little bonbons. The, um... Bond number nine bonbons, which is a bunch of different scents, and they come in like these little candy looking wrappers or whatever. But I guess they didn't have it. Darren ended up getting Greenwich or Greenwick Village, so this is that one. This is what it looks like really nice, heavy packaging. Mm. Smells good. It's sweet. Anyway, he's like a cologne connoisseur. I don't I don't know. He got he's actually the one that got me introduced to like wearing perfume. Like not introduced, because I've worn it before, but more so into it, into it. Like one of the first things that he ever got me was some Tom Ford perfume. And it wasn't like, I don't know, it was one of those scents that you kind of got to get used to. And I'm not like a spicy type of girl. I'm more of a sweet um, scent type of person. So, yeah, I kind of didn't like it. Don't tell him. Okay, so the next one is the Hamptons. Well, not the Hamptons, but Hamptons. That is this one. I don't know why this is wrapped up like this. Not like the other one. I guess he had to get the tester. Maybe he was the first one to use the tester. I don't know. Because I was over there doing something else, girl. Mm. That smells like... No, legit, it does smell like how I would think the Hamptons would smell. Like fresh, crisp water. Like diamonds. and Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that smells really really good and a lot of these scents I think they're unisex if I'm not mistaken them for Tom Ford so a lot of these scents like I don't mind having like a more masculine scent sometimes not all the time but sometimes okay and then for me he got the scent of peace which is this purple one I chose like I actually took my time and went through all these different ones the girl was so helpful that helped us I really enjoyed this one okay so I'm gonna actually spray that one now because I have yet to spray it I was waiting to do this video to spray it that smells so good then I asked for a sample so she gave me this and this is how the bonbons were wrapped but they were all different colors, so it was a cute little packaging aesthetic. She has my name on the back. It's spelled wrong, but you get the gist. I don't know. I already opened one earlier. Let's just open it because I don't really feel like reading. I'm kind of sleepy. Bond, bond number nine perfume. Oh, I don't even know. Mm, they all smell good. I mean, it smells good to me. Darren, come here. What? What is the? Um, oh, I know you even spray my stuff. No. Oh dear, we are in trouble. No, I sprayed mine. Nah, that don't. I sprayed mine. No, no, no. What? What's the the, the note or whatever the key, whatever in this well, one? Well, I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> come on with it, cause I only got 13 percent. Hold on, let me get my let me get my index cards. No, I don't even know. I know it smells good. I know it got patchouli in it. Uh -oh. And it has mandarin and it has geranium. And what about this one? That's called the Hamptons. Why? Why did it come because, like this? Instead of um, that Because, of course, this was the free one. I wasn't going to get it in the oh. special case. So, they, they give you... The, the, the testers are the testers for a reason. But that's why I didn't get the cool cap to go with it and shit like that. But even when I'm done with it, I can still go... And we're recycling and give me a gift. There was one more thing I was gonna ask you. How much does this one go for? Three 
Why the fuck you lying? This Girl, one in the Aquamarine case? Yeah. 300 and change? Because it's a, what's that, 3.4 bottle? Mm hmm And how much is this one? It's about a good $200. This one's like two something, the female one. Okay. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And I ended up also getting some gel moisturizer this is the kills ultra facial oil free gel cream fresh hydration for normal to oily skin types i got this i looked this up online because i started having some um, dry patches underneath my eye and on the side of my face and usually i'm really oily so i saw that and i was like no so this is formulated with a refreshing texture this oil free gel cream intensely hydrates and conditions skin while providing long lasting moisture our non-greasy Hydrator is spe oops, specifically formulated for normal or oily skin. And I've used it two nights in a row. And I really like it. It's not heavy. It's light. And um, I got that for $30. So. I'm going to read the actual ingredients in, in all of them. Huh? I can read the, I'm going to read the ingredients for what yours has. Yours oh, has. shoot. My battery. I'm not. Yeah, um, let me charge my battery and then we'll come back and talk to y'all about the fragrances that are in each of the colognes and perfume. Alright you guys, so we're going to show you guys, or no, we're going to talk about the notes and all that good stuff. Darren's like the expert on that, so. Alright, so we're going to do Greenwich, Greenwick, unsure of how to pronounce it. So some of the key notes in this are... Hold on. And what is a note? Can you tell us what a note is? A fragrance, a scent, a smell. Okay. Oops. It's only since I ain't never heard of. But um, the notes in Greenwich Village is cassis, lychee, mandarin, peony, water lily, jasmine petals, ambrooks, peach musk, vanilla, oak moss, and praline. Praline, that sounds like a food I had before. Pecans. Pecans. Okay. So what, I didn't hear patchouli. Well, this one doesn't have patchouli in it. Back up off me. Okay. The next scent is this lovely little guy right here, which is Hamptons. Which I told y'all smells exactly how I would think the Hamptons would smell. Mmm. Oh, good. Okay, so some of the keynotes. Lime blossom, bergamot, white jasmine, magnolia, amber, and sandalwood. Bergamot. Okay, and scent of peace, which is this one, which to me, I told y'all, just gives me like bad. Well, that one has grapefruit, black currant, lily of the valley. Cedarwood and musk and head heroin It sounds like heroin without mm. the R. Smells so good and sweet. Oh my gosh. What I love about this one is that I feel like almost any age could wear it. I feel like it's like timeless. Hamptons. Oh, again, it's just Hamptons gives me like a younger man. A younger man probably early 30s um green witch i forgot what that one smells like but which one are you wearing right now green witch, green witch. oh gosh you just elbowed. sorry i don't know i can't really get what that, what that one smells like because i don't think he's giving me where it was sprayed at oh on your body oh my god green witch gives me like hmm art deco <laughs> okay no for real um you know like i said these fragrances are new to me so i'm gonna try to savor this one a little bit more than i did um my other ones should i show them my old bottles yeah sure yeah let me show y'all what i was wearing previously Hold up. 
See, I think I see the problem already, these little ass bottles. But anyway. We're going to be grateful, saints. Okay. We have, okay, so what I was wearing previously, these are my oldies. So, we have Yellow Diamond by Versace. This gives me like... Mm, like a younger mogul on her way to billionaire status but not there yet this gives me now this one this is why it's not familiar to me because i already had it i forget how you pronounce this but um this was a fan favorite for me for a while clearly and i will use that little bit yes i will but Givenchy, mm, that one is different. That one is more of a, is this a musk? It, it has to have vanilla in it. Stick it up. Yeah, we're going to get you those details. Here. And then this is the Ploriel, which was like, oh my God. When, I, when he got me this, this is by the same person that makes Baccarat. So this is the Ploriel. Everybody else gets Baccarat. I'm telling y'all, give this one a try. This one, it is masculine though. So, I think he told me it was unisex, but it says on here masculine. But at any rate, I still wore it a lot. It was like, it's a very distinct scent. And it's like, it's manly, but it's not too manly. Top notes is orange blossom. Middle notes is jasmine and tuberose. Bottom notes are velvet and patchouli. So basically the only one that I recognize is patchouli. <laughs> that sounds really complicated. But this one, like I said, everyone is not going to love this. This is, I think it's an acquired smell, to be honest with you. Or to, to give you the honest truth, it smells kind of like an old woman, but not like Yellow Diamond's old woman. Just like maybe a little bit of old money, a little bit of new money. It was different for me, but... Hey, I liked it and I don't spray perfumes on my skin because I get really bad breakouts but the other day she sprayed the bond number nine on my skin and I have no breakouts from it whatsoever and I think she said that was because it's like half made with oil or something right it's more it's more oil than alcohol more oil than alcohol so if you're someone who really puts a lot of time and effort into the way you smell let me just tell you like when he started getting me on game with the perfumes and stuff I started going OD. I started wearing them to bed. Like, it just was a whole different kind of sexy that it made me feel like scents. I love scents. Like, scents of food, scents of stuff that reminds me of my childhood, whatever it may be. Those are the three main scents that I was wearing. I want to say there was another one. Um, excuse me? Love spell. Love spell? Body spray. I don't know and then we we take the samples for sure like we're not too good for the samples oh, you didn't tell them about the other one you got what the bonbons i did but i didn't know the scent signature signature what the hell does that mean that's bottom nine signature go get it for me you go get it i don't know where it's at because I, I, I didn't see where it was at since you had it that means it's hot and stuff so i won't get it because <laughs> you got like three samples well they all mine i asked for them uh, it's it's a male fragrance. Yeah. Apparently. Baby, please don't come at me like that. Cause I will chop you. He is in a nasty mood. I'll just play. He good. Um, what's the signature sense um, notes? These. These. Okay. Hmm. Well, good thing these smell good all the time. There's a lot of writing on this, and I'm pretty sure y'all don't want me to read all this to y'all. It's a uh, oud extract, Ooh. rose, tonka beans, and musk. We like oud, we like patchouli, we like bergamot. So I'm pretty sure Darren could mix up his own fragrance. Like one day we do want to do that too. Like go to a place where we can make our own fragrances. Oh my god. That smells good. You said this was male? No, can't be. Let me see. No. Here. These are all the scents that I love. You're not getting it. 
then yeah, so the grand total. This boy. Oh, his bottle was four hundred and five dollars. Okay. Mine was two fifty. All right, video complete. Uh, <laughs> now nah, let me start. I'm grateful because, like I said, I have not been introduced to this world prior. This is so beautiful. Look at the time they put into the packaging. That's so awesome. So yeah, leave me a comment down below, you guys. Let me got. Let me guys know. Let me know what scents you guys are wearing. What is your favorite scent? If you like white diamonds, you like white diamonds, sis. I mean, let me know. And let me know if you're going to try any of these. I'm sorry, I can't give you a more accurate description. But yellow diamond is bomb for anybody. The Givenchy is acquired. And so is the Plurio. But don't miss out on that Plurio because y'all all up there buying that Baccarat. I can't afford the Baccarat right now. But when I get it. When I get it. Oh, that's what it looks like? Let me see. Here, this is what the bottle looks like of the sample that we got. Um, that gold one. So if you need to spot it in the store, that's actually what it looks like. All right, you can just ask what's the signature stamp or whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications. Thank you to Darren for helping us out. And hopefully we'll see you guys again. Bye.